Welcome. You come to your red folks. This is the home of the hummingbirds. And here we have about, in this garden, we get 14 of the 18 species of hummingbirds in Trinidad and Tobago that come to visit us wow. here. Today there should be 13 in the garden. So I've provided the birds, your job is to find them now. Mm -hmm. All right? You are in St. Joseph, folks. A very special place, as I told you. A place that is, has tremendous history. So welcome to St. Joseph. But it's time for us to get to the hummingbirds now. And I know the hummingbirds brought you here because you all have a special interest in hummingbirds. Now tell me, what excites you about a hummingbird? Hmm. The beautiful, bright colors. All right. The way they zip back and forth, yeah. they control. All right. All right. Hummingbirds are very unique creatures, one of a kind creatures in the world, and they're the smallest birds in the world. And while you're here today, there's a bird that you're going to see as a very special bird. A bird that I'm sure all these birds is here looking for this bird. It's on the, it's on the brochure at the front. That is the tufted coquette. Look for him on these flowers right next to us here. He's going to be very tiny, more like a bee than a bird. <coughs> and there's another one I know some folks are looking for. That's the ruby topaz. Is that bird with the orange tail? Yeah. And he's here with us. We call him the most beautiful hummingbird in the world. You're going to see another bird here that has a white tail. <laughs> Have you all seen a, a, a blue and white bird? Yes. A yeah. bird with a white tail feathers? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. bigger. And right. when that bird comes back, look at the back of the neck, you see a white patch. That's the white neck Jacobin. And he's here with us. Oh, there are no hummingbirds in Hawaii. Where are you coming from? No. There's a hummingbird moth. Yes, you have a moth. Yeah. But there are no hummingbirds in Europe. No hummingbirds anywhere in Africa. No hummingbirds anywhere in Asia. No hummingbirds anywhere in Australia. They are birds of the Western Hemisphere only. North but the vast majority of hummingbirds are in the tropical regions of the world. That's where we find most hummingbirds. But there are hummingbirds in North America. So every mainland state of the United States got hummingbirds. And that includes Alaska, way up north. Wow. The hummingbirds. The hummingbirds throughout Canada. Every province of Canada has hummingbirds. Now how many do we have in the world? How many different species? In the world? Mm -hmm. 350. 18 is in Trinidad. Or just above that. Of in the world. Well. How many do we have in Trinidad and Tobago? 18. 18 species. <laughs> the books will tell you 17, but in 2015, we discovered a new species of hummingbird. That's the amethyst woodstock. So we now have 18 species in Trinidad and Tobago. And of the 18 that we have, there's one in Tobago that's not in Trinidad. Oh. Wow. So if you're going to Tobago, I want you to look for the white-tailed saber wing in Tobago. He's not in Trinidad. Tobago has only seven species. And of the 17 species we have in Trinidad, as you heard me say, we get 14 of them in our garden here at the area. Birds you see in this garden are all wild birds. They go and come freely. They're free to go, free to come. They just choose to spend a lot of time here with us every day. So the birds are here in this garden every day with us, in the hundreds. Any days they're here in the thousands. Yeah, they go to sleep at night. Oh. You're going to have fun with the birds while you're here. Anybody wants to get real close to a hummingbird? It's not difficult. You can walk up to the feeders here, there, out in the garden, and just be, be still. Yeah. And the birds will come very close to you. Because they're dead sure that you can't catch them. So they don't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and every now and then, while you're here, you're going to feel something go past you. Push. Yeah, it's yeah. a hummingbird, but it'll never hit you. So then How did you get started? Oh, the birds found me. It was photography that got me into this. But the birds came in in much larger numbers than we could have expected. Wow. So it was a surprise. And it's only then that we decided to open this up to the public. How long ago was that? We opened this to the public eight years ago. Yeah, so you're at the home of the Hammondwood. And... And the possession? Yeah, over the possession. <laughs> Have you been told that Trinidad is called the land of the hummingbird? You've been told that? Yeah. It's on everything. Is it like particular flowers or any flower? Well, most flowers have nectar. Yeah, so so flowers. most flowers, hummingbirds will feed on most flowers. But they are few that are not very good. Hummingbirds co-evolve with flowers. Yeah. So you have many bill shapes. Depending on the flower, they co-evolve. Right. Long and straight, long and curved, short and straight. 
Look again. <laughs> that is a female black throated mango. When it comes back, same thing as another one. Okay. Yeah. Has a white stripe down the middle with two black stripes on the side. All right, folks. And it's tiny. Let me um, bring this piece to a close by telling you what we have in store for you today. What you've been enjoying here, we call the live show. <laughs> and the birds have been exciting you up to now. You can continue to enjoy the birds, enjoy the show. You can move around the garden. There are more feeders on the other end of the garden. And you have 13 species of birds to identify. Take all the photos you want, take all the videos you want to find. But let me share something else with you folks. Hummingbirds give off an energy. They give off a vibrance that can touch you, calm you, relax you. They're highly therapeutic. So that's why we have a number of medical doctors who send patients to this garden. We get a lot of stroke patients who visit us. We get people who come here after surgery. People come here for bereavement or inspiration. So you can enjoy some of that while you're here. So thanks very much for coming, coming folks. Nice having you all. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I think I know what is written here. This, mar this lawn is my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell me how to And in this garden, if you're interested in other birds, we see over 100 species of other birds from this garden. So there are going to be other birds around, but the hummingbirds are going to dominate.